Difference between active reinforcement learning and passive reinforcement learning. In this video you will learn What is active reinforcement learning? Example of active reinforcement learning Uses of active reinforcement learning What is passive reinforcement learning? Example of passive reinforcement learning Uses of passive reinforcement learning Difference between active reinforcement learning and passive reinforcement learning what is active reinforcement learning? In machine learning, active learning refers to the trained model actively participating in the learning process. That is, it learns on its own. Active reinforcement learning occurs when the agent actively chooses which actions to do based on the current state of its environment. This means that the agent is in total control of its actions and can freely explore to find the best way of maximizing its reward. In active reinforcement learning, the policy is unknown at the start. The agent needs to figure it out by learning how to complete tasks on its own. The agent actively interacts with the environment to learn the best policy, one that maximizes rewards over time. It does more than just learn from feedback. It also explores and selects different actions based on the current state to improve its learning. Example of active reinforcement learning. An active reinforcement learning agent, for instance, would be in charge of deciding a move to make in a chess game based on its assessment of the game's current state. Uses of active reinforcement learning. It helps the agent adapt to changes in the environment. It allows continuous updates to the policy through exploration. It is better for dynamic environments where the optimal policy can change over time. What is passive reinforcement learning? Passive learning is a different kind of learning in which the educator is given the main role and the machines, learners, are just encouraged to internalize the information that has already been processed for them. Passive reinforcement learning happens when the agent is unable to control its actions. Rather, an external agent, such as a human operator or a pre-programmed algorithm, determines the actions. The agent simply receives rewards or penalties in these situations based on its actions and its objective is to learn from this feedback in order to perform better. Example of Passive Reinforcement Learning Robotics is a good example of passive reinforcement learning where an external actor may provide rewards for reaching a target location or accomplishing a specified task. The robot would not be able to make its own decisions, but it would get feedback for its actions in the form of rewards or penalties. Uses of passive reinforcement learning In environments that are predictable and consistent. When the optimal policy does not change often. In tasks where actions can be predefined or controlled externally. Difference between active reinforcement learning and passive reinforcement learning. Interaction. Active learning reinforcement engages with a human or an oracle to select the most informative samples for labeling. While passive learning reinforcement relies on pre-collected labeled data without interaction during training. Scenarios. Active reinforcement learning is appropriate for scenarios in which the agent must have control over its actions and be able to consider several possibilities in order to find the best solution. This type of reinforcement learning is commonly employed in gaming where the agent must be able to make decisions based on the current state of the game. Passive reinforcement learning, on the other hand, is appropriate for situations in which the agent has no control over its actions. This approach is frequently employed in robotics, where the robot must learn from its actions, yet those actions are set by an external agent. Type of feedback. Active reinforcement learning provides feedback in the form of rewards or penalties for actions, allowing the agent to alter its behavior accordingly. While in passive reinforcement learning, 
the agent only receives feedback in the form of rewards or penalties at the end, which it must use to forecast the best next action. Data selection. Active reinforcement learning iteratively selects unlabeled data points for labeling. Whereas, passive reinforcement learning uses a fixed data set, no selection or acquisition of new examples. Labeling process. Active reinforcement learning requests labels from an oracle during training. While passive reinforcement learning uses labels already assigned in advance. Model update. Active reinforcement learning updates the model based on newly labeled data. On the other hand, passive reinforcement learning trains the model using the complete labeled dataset at once. Data efficiency. Active reinforcement learning requires less labeled data by prioritizing informative examples. While passive reinforcement learning requires a huge amount of high quality labeled data. Cost efficiency. Active reinforcement learning helps minimize labeling costs. Whereas, passive reinforcement learning may be costly due to the need for large volumes of labeled data. Simplicity. Active reinforcement learning is more complex due to interaction and selection mechanisms. On the other hand, passive reinforcement learning appears more straightforward, involves collecting and feeding data into the model. Challenges. Active reinforcement learning requires access to an oracle and efficient selection strategies. While passive reinforcement learning requires access to large, high-quality labeled datasets. Solution for data quality. Active reinforcement learning reduces data demand by focusing on informativeness. Whereas passive reinforcement learning needs a reliable data partner to ensure diversity, ethicality, and consistency in data.